सर दोन मिनट टेलिग्राम वर बर का मैं यूट्यूब ची लिंक पाठ टेलिग्राम वर इंट्रोडक्शन तीन
सर वीडियो चालू ठेवायचा कंटिन्यू नाही सध्या पण करत आहे आवाज आणि हे दोन्ही बंद करून ठेवा आणि जेव्हा म्हणजे एनडी डिस्टर्बन्स कमी होत हे बघा आता काय काय एवढं चालू आहे बघा म्यूट बंद करता का पहिले स्टेन चे चार झाले बर पहिले स्टेन चे चार झाले त्या त्याच्या चार झाले कुठे बोल हॅलो सर येतोय आवाज जे काय हे असं दिसतंय ना सर जी माझा फोटो दिसला पाहिजे माझा माझा इथे दिसला माझा काय दिसतो थँक यू शिरू हा बंद बाहेरून बाहेरून सिंग कडे लावून घ्या सर हॅलो हॅलो गुड डे सर त्या आवाजी बोला बंद करा हॅलो हा हॅलो गुड डे सर आर यू हिअरिंग मी येस 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 विदिन दिस मिनिट विल प्रोसीड फॉर नेक्स्ट जस्ट मिनिट ओके नो इश्यू I hope many guests are still joining. Hello, sir. Sir, sir. Hello, sir. Do you want to talk about it? Yes, I'm going to talk about it. Sir, sir. Sir, sir. I'm going to start. No problem. No problem. सो 
very good morning everyone this is a wonderful occasion of our college it is my privilege to welcome i am dr bharat pazare head department of commerce you are welcome to this international webinar of impact of covid 19 on global entrepreneurship i am very happy to see you together here on this occasion of silver jubilee of our educational institution marathwada shikshan prasarak mandal i heartily welcome to our inaugurator honorable milind gurde sir chief executive officer Japan I warm welcome to our keynote speaker Dr W K Sarvade Dean Department of Commerce and Management Science Dr Baba Saheb Ambedkar Marathwada University our resource person honorable R K Gaikaut sir retired IAS officer Dr Muin El Mubayed Palestine University a great motivational and resource person Dr Said Hazruddin sir this is a very wonderful and eminent persons i also want to welcome to all participants which uh, participate from various countries research students assistant professor associate professor professor doctors and friends all participants we have great and eminent faculty i hope the webinar will be great and successful i hope we will get something new on this platform you have a good day and once again welcome to all thank you for joining the international webinar now the time turns to introductory speech i would like to request to our principal dr Shivdas J. Sitsar sir, for their introductory speech, I would like to invite them to give address. Please, Dr. Sitsar sir, address us. Thank you. Sitsar sir, good morning, one and all. today i am very happy our college which is located in mountains and remote area is hosting international webinar today honorable mla sri prakash dada solanki president of maratwada shikshan prasarak mandal aurangabad honorable mla sri satish bhau chavan general secretary मराठवाडा शिक्षण प्रसारक मंडल ऑनरेबल श्री जयसिंग बाया सोलंके चीफ मेंबर कॉलेज डेवलपमेंट कमिटी ऑनरेबल श्री लोभाजी चव्हाण ऑनरेबल श्री अजय शिंदिकर ऑनरेबल श्री मुकुंद सावंत ऑनरेबल डॉक्टर राम सिंगारे एंड ऑनरेबल Sri Ina Jadhav sir has all the best for this webinar. I also welcome today's international webinar keynote addresser, my friends, Dr. Valmik Sarode, Dean, 
डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर मराठवाडा युनिव्हर्सिटी औरंगाबाद रिसोर्स पर्सन डॉक्टर मोहिन सर मिस्टर आर के गायकवाड ऑनरेबल मिलिन गडदे सर डॉक्टर सय्यद अजुरुद्दीन सर आय ऑल्सो द कोऑर्डिनेटर ऑफ दिस ऑर्गनाइज दिस वेबिनार डॉक्टर भारत पगारे प्रोफेसर कुंभारे एंड प्रोफेसर सोलंके इट इज अ ग्रेट इवेंट्स ऑफ अवर इंटरनॅशनल वेबिनार ऑन इम्पॅक्ट ऑफ कोविड नाईन्टीन ऑन ग्लोबल इंटरप्रिनरशिप इट इज माय प्लेजर दॅट सच प्रोग्राम इज बीइंग ऑर्गनाइज टू अवर मराठवाडा शिक्षण प्रसारक मंडल्स फॅकल्टी ऑफ कॉमर्स or college we are facing a lot of local problem of covid 19 since last two years struggle with pandemic covid 19 is going on continuously entrepreneurs and entrepreneurship both are becoming collapse or not this is current phase of india but what about global entrepreneurship it should be well known to all and what type of remedies and how to face it and come out to the pandemic corona this should be done so it is from us a small try to spread awareness among the global society our institute celebrating silver jubilee on this occasion we are organized sir i have one report open sir in our college Haan, all colleges this is done update i hope this international webinar will be based and will spread of awareness at global stage with this words i give my wishes to one and all thank you जय हिंद जय भारत थँक यू सर थँक यू डॉक्टर निफसाड सर नाव ॲज पर इंडियन ट्रॅडिशन इनॉग्रेशन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ प्रोग्राम द इनॉग्रेटर ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम इज अ अनोरेबल मिलिंद गुडे सर फ्रॉम जपान आय वुड लाईक टू इंट्रोड्यूस her work he is chief executive officer for m career kk japan his native place is sondi taluka patur district akola he has done primary education from jp school and completed high school from bulhana he has done graduation from government engineering college pune in 2000 he joined automotive sector in japan in 2002 he worked 12 years in multinational industries like toyota honda mitsubishi and so on he left all works and established own company forium career kk japan he started recruiting firm for japanese companies currently he is working as a chief executive officer in japan so very good and eminent person we have today i would like to invite him please honorable good day sir give your valuable talk 
regarding this uh, program good day sir please okay thank you so this is milinda good day here uh, honorable sir madam and distinguished guest uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak and inaugurate uh, inauguration of this webinar to this distinguished audience and guest i thanks to marathwada shikshan prasarana mandals art science and commerce college for organizing webinar on the topic of impact of covid 19 on global entrepreneurship also thanks to principal uh, sirsat sir and pagare sir for giving this opportunity and a uh, special thanks to rk gaikwad sir for inform informing me regarding this seminar rk gaikwad sir was in japan uh, for some time and he spent uh, some time with me i hope as he is also a guest speaker of this webinar he will uh, talk about his experience in japan in later so to come to the topic as we all aware that we are in the midst of crisis like no other the pandemic has sent uh, shock waves through the global, global economy people are worried about their lives and livelihoods many businesses are either closed or waiting for customers to return we never expected the spread of covid 19 pandemic last year covid 19 has disrupted every aspect of our livelihood the movement of goods and the movement of people but at the same time we realized that the importance of connect connectivity for the economic growth and for this connectivity only uh, right now as i am in japan and we are uh, taking uh, this webinar through a web web model so we feel the importance and every problem there is there is a solution and i hope uh, with this uh, solution Uh, we can go ahead now as we know that most of the companies allowed to work remotely even though students are also studying online and here we we can get an opportunity in the face of global 19 pandemic entrepreneurs have to face new reality that it is not only a huge health crisis affecting millions or billions of people across the world this is also provoking an unprecedented downturn in the global economy as a business founders you will also need very different action plan in place depending on your sector and industry if you are in online shopping food delivery video gaming video conferencing industries where businesses is currently booming it is completely different picture than if you are running business in hotel restaurant retail entertainment or sports industries those entrepreneurs in covid impacted sector should be almost lose 50 to 80% of their turnover as well as major portion of their market value as my business sector is in talent acquisition like recruiting and placing the talented people in different organization also there is an international border closure due to this pandemic so i must change the business plan and need to focus on local talent previously i was uh, taking Uh, taking talent from overseas from india or from different countries but due to pandemic like i also need to change my business model 
as i am in japan and there is huge opportunity opportunity to recruit the talent from india but i am sure that post pandemic there is a huge gap has happened from one and a half years or almost two years so a lot of indian talent are ready to enter in japan and we will find a different opportunity so pandemic will teach or give us a new opportunity even though there is a lot of loss or i think in nearby every family or every uh, colleague some pandemic ha- like covid has been affected to almost every family members in india or in worldwide also so those who uh, study japanese or uh, some related uh, things there is huge chance for them to enter in japan and by some time they will also become an entrepreneurs in japan so nevertheless uh, there are two positive thoughts we should always keep in mind like entrepreneurs are fighters by nature optimistic and resilient they will overcome this difficult period because it is an entrepreneurs dna to bounce back like entrepreneurs to definition is to solve the problem now this is the problem and we need to solve it so that is the entrepreneurs work and i hope uh in this pandemic entrepreneurs also work very hard to get a new opportunity so if we are capable to solve the problem there it takes a birth of new business opportunity as we know uh like 30 years back nobody thought that we we will drink a water by paying it nobody thought like we can drink a water by paying it but now people are facing problem while traveling traveling period increases even though traveling movement increases so that problems comes in a business opportunity and there comes the need of selling water bottles so it becomes a huge business today so as we know every crisis has an end point and uh, this is also the clue to the entrepreneurs to enter in the new area or new business so in this covid many industries affected particularly those in social sectors like hospitality uh, so it becomes an opportunity to innovate to make it more digital digitalization and increase the business opportunity so for this let me conclude here by emphasizing that post pandemic pandemic world every corner of an indian should benefit the country's policy at the same time entrepreneurs will generate the different business to serve the country people it is important for india to be an inclusive growth the growth should not be for the richer or for the rich people only the growth should be an inclusive inclusive and it should reach to the down trodden people of india so we need innovate we need to reach to a new heights and many entrepreneur entrepreneurs need to come out to generate new ideas and move forward move forward towards sustainable development goal as the opening remark i wish this seminar should be a huge success and all the best for the distinguished speaker and participant thank you very much thank you jai bhim jai bharat thank you sir thank you very much you have given a wonderful talk on this uh, situation which is happening over all world so once again thank you sir now
I will have to turn to next resource person, Honorable R.K. Gaikawar. He is a retired IS officer. Currently, he is an international coordinator by Japan. He is giving his whole time to provide job to the unemployed youth through Japanese language classes. Near about 1,200 students are getting job in Japan under his uh, coordination and guidance. The most important thing is he played a very important role to purchase London house where Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar was staying there for study. Such a great person we are having. I request resource person, Honorable R.K. Gaikaud, sir, to give valuable talk on this occasion. Please, Gaikaud, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pagare, sir. Awaj yeto kamaza? Yeto is there, no problem. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning to all. Jai Jizau, Jai Shurai, Jai Jyoti, Jai Vim to all. I am very happy to participate in, the inter, in this international webinar organized on behalf of the Marathwada Shikshan Prasarak Mandal, Honorable Principal Shudash Ji Shishar Sir, Honorable Dignitaries Milinji Gurde Sir from Japan, Valmi, Dr. Valmikar Ji Sarode from Aurangabad, Dr. Munim from uh, University of Palestine, Dr. Bharaji Pagare, Vijay Kumar uh, Kumbare sir, and uh, uh, rest of the friends. We all know the, the world is passing through a very critical situation of COVID. Since last one and a half year, we are locked in our houses. Schools, colleges, universities, and all educational institutions have been closed. The lockdown is in all the sectors, education, educational trainings, business, industry, industrial trainings have been adversely affected. Generally, we were arranging our webinars in colleges and uh, universities previously. But uh, this uh, international webinar itself is arranged online. It shows that we have to train ourselves with the changing situation and lifestyles to adapt with the COVID-19. We have experienced that the agriculture operations by farmers Sir, sir, the Sarana and the other in Sarana Pula. Take me. The agricultural operations of the paper, one of the eight of the Am I audible? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We have experienced that. The agriculture operations by farmers in Maharashtra, including Beat District and Kille Dharu Taluka, have adversely affected due to the COVID. Thousands of, thousands of people died because of COVID. It resulted a great loss to the nation or country. It resulted to the damage of our economy. The government of Maharashtra, government of India, and all the governments in the world have changed their economic policies to adopt the COVID situation. The parameters of the work economy, including import and exports, have also been changed. In addition to its impact on public health, corona virus diseases has caused a major economic shock to all the countries in the world, including Japan. Our friend Milin Gurdeji has told the adverse situation arising in the Japan and in the world 
economy. Most of the business firms were closed and uh, the employment was down in the sectors of ferried industries with retail, entrepreneurship, service sectors, food, food services, hospitality business, education, educational and vocational training, etc. The industries related to health sanitization are emerging now. But all this scenery is temporary basis. And uh, uh, it will not be a, uh, run in a longer time. In short, we can say more than 80% of startup business have to terminate their full-time employees contracts since start of COVID-19 pandemic. Many entrepreneurs business have pivoted to meet new needs to goods or services born out of the uh, crisis. The way entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial business, including and uh, approaches are affected by the pandemic will have an impact on, on how entrepreneurship is uh, pursued and uh, job choice in the future. The onset and the spread of COVID-19 have left few people, if any, unaffected. Governments the world over have been repeatedly tested and staged. They have new rules and regulations and norms and uh, new acts for the, the world economy and uh, re-establishment confidence and uh, give economies chance to the new survival. In short, we can say the COVID-19 is a great uh, uh, tragedy in the world history. It was before 100 years, the same tragedy was occurred in the world. Now it is repeated after 100 years. And uh, we have to think over our survival of the economy, including, and therefore we have to formulate the new uh, for, uh, strategies, new regulations, new acts, and the economic policies too. I am very much thankful, Marathwara, Shikshan Prasarak Mandal, particularly uh, principal uh, uh, sir and other team for uh, uh, giving me an opportunity. And uh, I especially thank for Milan Gurdia sir from Japan, who has been in our uh, uh, team and uh, he's a friend philosopher guide to a number of projects we are running in India, especially in Mahastra, in Japan language, in technical courses, and uh, job employment in Japan. Thank you very much. Thank you. He has given a very wonderful talk. Now, I would like to request to Assistant Professor V.S. Kumbare to read the biodata of resource person, Dr. W.K. Sarvudya, sir, Dean. I would like to read the biodata of Dr. W.K. Sarvudya. He is uh, trying to join before this. I read this uh, short resume, Dr. W.K. Sarvode. The name, Professor Dr. W.K. Sarvode. He has a huge administrative experience. He is professor and a director 
department of management science he is also ex director bcvd osd dean faculty of commerce and management science he is ex controller of examination ex directors students welfare dr bau sambhakar marathwada university aurangabad he has given so many keynote address at for international platform he honored spain santiago university de compostela research Ex excellence program fellowship europe tenth june 2009 and july 2014 the awards and honor by warsaw university yes 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 ggw faculty of economic science poland orsomans plus program key action of mobility for learners and staff higher education student and staff mobile program at warsaw university of life science he honored by economic times now best professor in marketing management educational leaders award he got best research paper award international commerce conference university of mumbai december 2007 he has used biodata in short he has given so many research contribution in contribution hello the paper published 38 international 62 national state 12 and total 112 38 paper presented and resource person 16 for international 36 at national level and 22 for state level total 74 he has uh, delivered so many resource so many as a resource person i think there are a uh, uh, coming some problems uh, i think uh, it is better to move uh, forward uh, next section dr muin sir are you hear me dr muin sir hello dr muin sir i think there is a technical problem a uh, dr moin sir just a minute sir sir na phone lav laga okay okay dr volume sir uh, has solved technical problem within one minute he will join so very eminent very great person available here as a keynote speaker so many participants from uh, various countries they have attended here and listening carefully wonderful talk of uh, honorable uh, milin goodwe sir and uh, rk gaikaud sir is officer hello sir there are some issue 
अबाउट टेक्निकल सेशन डॉक्टर डब्ल्यू के सर्वोदय मिल पाठवला हेलो हेलो वाटा वाला पाठ सर हेलो हाँ जस्ट ईमेल सर तुम एक ईमेल कर बता मैं गुणगे लगे कहते हैं ईमेल पाठ हेलो सॉरी फॉर डिस्टर्बेंस there are technical issues because here are uh, a light uh, okay, issue okay. and uh, dr sadu sir is uh, trying to join uh, i think uh, it will take a uh, little bit time hello hello sir हा जा जॉइन जा तिकन मला अलाउड करा मी हर है तो आवर ऑडियंस हाँ सर ओके सर यस 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 थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच वेलकम सर्वोदय साहब आर के एक वर्ड बोलते हैं सर हवार यू फाइन फाइन आमच ऑटो प्ले आप ऑलरेडी आई हेव रीड युअर बायो डाटा एंड टोटल इंट्रोडक्शन आई हेव गिवन अबाउट यू सर जस्ट आई विक्वेस्ट स्टार्ट माई वीडियो मेसेज यू कैन नॉट स्टार्ट युअर पगार है सर जस्ट हाँ सर अपनेकोपर है भारत सर डेस्कटॉप वह मेसेज यू कैन नॉट स्टार्ट युअर वीडियो बिकॉज द होस्ट है सर होस्ट कर प्रॉब्लम सर होस्ट होस्ट हेलो सिर सर सर इट इज प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम होस्ट ओके ओके सर जस्ट जस्ट विट गाइड सर फास्ट Uh, it is come from uh, host mobile they are trying uh, sorry for a disturbance it will take a, a little bit time dr valmik sardu sir he is my uh, guide under his guidance i got phd very nice and very wonderful person his organization and management to handle administration as well as social organization they were very well very nice person lot of students gets their times for uh, their bright future i am also one of them i am assistant professor i am associate professor here With the help of guidance of uh, Dr. Valmik Sardu sir, we always motivate the students. Actually, he is a motivational speaker. He is a motivational speaker. Lot of students are uh, inspired from them, and uh, they are uh, running a business. They are on good post. 
so many fields the students give their efforts in so many fields and always remember to dr valmik sarode sir uh, and they are discussed after uh, some years i think uh, before after uh, four years three years he will be come out of the job ha ah, sirsa sir ha ah, right, sir asol connect ya me connect ta ke maza video ka start hot nahi tikun doctor principal principal sir dikhara सजेस्टिंग सर ओके सर वीडियो इज ऑन नो प्रॉब्लम सर जस्ट थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच इट इज वेरी गुड प्लेजर टू ऑल ऑफ अस वेरी नाइस इवेंट सर वंस अगेन आई वेलकम टू दिस इंटरनेशनल वेबिनार एंड टेक युअर ओन टाइम फॉर दिस सेशन एज अ की नोट स्पीकर डॉक्टर वाल्मीक सर सर प्लीज कैर ऑन yeah thank you very much that uh, arts commerce and uh, science college dharur that uh, msp mandals very well known college and uh, they are conducting this uh, one day webinar one day international webinar on a very good important topic and uh, the professor and head uh, professor dr bharat pagare sir very well known and uh, and uh, he tried to conduct uh, different types of webinar conferences seminar and all these particular things and uh, i know dharur is my uh, native place near to dharur my village is there and uh, how bharat pagare is working there i am very much happy that uh, in the dharur college is conducting this uh, international webinar that uh, professor dr kumbhare sir and uh, the principal of the college and particularly i am very happy today that i am uh, uh, seeing in front of me mr r k gaikwad i am using the word professor r k gaikwad but uh, though he is not a professor but uh, he is a very renowned is officer and i know him and uh, i know his speech i know his talent i know how he was working in uh, government services and how he cooperated and helped a lot to the the teachers and students from the different types of categories of the peoples so i am very much thankful to the arts commerce science college dharur for uh, inviting me on this particular the the program man dear friends just 20 or 25 minutes just i will share my views on this uh, very good important topic just uh, uh, sir i will try to share my screen okay ask them to allow my screen also one minute huh? sir screen allow karta hai ki tikun baka zara एकदा सुरुवात झाल्यानंतर मग मी स्टॉप होत नाही माझं नो प्रॉब्लेम सर कॅरी ऑन जस्ट जस्ट वन मिनिट स्क्रीन शेअर बघा मी आय एम ट्राइंग टू शेअर द स्क्रीन ओके जस्ट फॉर वन मिनिट just to talk without screen it not a proper thing one that uh, share sound of my video clip phone files yes sir arke sir sorry just for 2 minutes ha na 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 sab ja sab ja sab ja me thamlo sir aple pa yes 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 yes, yes. just just i want to discuss with you lot of issues but when we will in aurangabad we will uh, discuss that particular issue thank you thank you uh, 
जी फाइल ओपन कर स्क्रीन शेयर के डेस्कटॉप वर है डेस्कटॉप वर कस तू स्क्रीन शेयर के फाइल ओपन करा सगमेटिक आई नो दैट थिंग बट फाइल्स फाइल्स शेयर पॉइंट सीन दे एक दोन मिनट थाम फिर ओके ओके सर नो प्रॉब्लम सर तिकन का प्रॉब्लम है ना तिकन का प्रॉब्लम नहीं ना ओके सर इट स्टार्ट सर जस्ट वेट वेट नंबर
पासवर्ड ना पासकोड डबल इलेवन एक पासवर्ड डबल डबल इलेवन पासवर्ड डबल इलेवन 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 डबल इलेवन हाँ मीटिंग 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 सर लिंक पाठ हो तो पर तो मालूम है पर बोलो हाँ हाँ बरे की हाँ बरो हाँ अगर हाँ सबमिशन हाँ सबमिशन I O N I I I J E M E हाँ अंदर है जी में ओ आलो रखा है ओ चल चलो किस पार्ट ऑफ़ करा नो ओ अलग है मेरे ऊपर करा तुम मेसेज डॉक्टर हेलो हेलो सर सर मी सरोजे साहब आवाज जो का विचारा बर कस स्क्रीन शेयर न करता को प्रेजेंटेशन देता आल तो बना हाँ नमस्कार डॉक्टर बारात 
you can hear no, me. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. Just a minute, sir. Uh, Dr. Adwala WK, sir, this session is going on. Uh, there are some uh, technical issues. We saw it. Then after uh, your uh, session will be start. Uh, just a minute. Okay, take your time. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Submission I J M E problem is solved. Sir, the sir, problem is solved. Going on. Sir, the sir. Sir, link Ali. Ha, me, me Oh. 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 Oh, click on a link for and a passport double eleven tata. Oh, Tunta Tunta. Submission, what are Submission. Submission or all at the name. Sir, Take sir, 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 I 
वीडियो वाला क्या लगा किलोमीटर सर 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 ट्रैफिक पर हेलो भारत सर मजा वीडियो अलाव करा तिक ओके ओके कारण कनेक्शन ओके है मैं प्रॉब्लम नहीं बर 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 ठीक है ठीक है स्क्रीन शेयरिंग पलाउड करा वीडियो वाला पलाउड करा हेलो श्रीसठ सर मजा आवाज ये का भारत पगारे सर हेलो एक एक काम करा ना मजा आवाज डायरेक्ट यो का मी स्क्रीन शेयर करत नहीं अस बोलू का संगा विदाउट वीडियो च नहीं तुम हे तुम हेच नहीं मैं स्टॉप हाँ एक मिनट आता आल बगा एक मिनट फाइल्स स्क्रीन करता दो मिनट में बेसिक सिरसाट सर भारत सर सर बोला एक मिनट मी का विदाउट स्क्रीन चाह सुरू कर जास्त वे चल इट इज नॉट ए प्रॉपर थिंग्स दैट ऑल पार्टिसिपेंट दे आर वेटिंग एंड वे आर वेस्टिंग द टाइम इट इज नॉट ए प्रॉपर थिंग्स ना डेर फ्रेंड्स विदाउट शेयरिंग माई स्क्रीन 
just uh, I will start my uh, this particular session. That uh, I am very much thankful to Professor Dr. Shivdas Jain Sirsat sir, who is working as a principal. He has invited me uh, just to be keynote speaker for this particular the international seminar. I am sharing my views on COVID-19 and uh, interstellar employment. That, as you know, that uh, the government of India, state of Maharashtra, and at global level also, that we were facing the COVID-19, the problem at world level, that uh, you will find near about uh, six to seven lakh different types of people from world level that you will find the death of the people one, particularly US and some European countries, uh, they are leading. But till the Indian government that we are taking very much precaution just to avoid uh, and stop this particular COVID position. That uh, as a teacher and as I'm a dean, faculty of commerce and management, that uh, I'm appealed to all the participants and to students and the faculty members, try to use the proper sanitizer, then try to use proper mask, keep the proper uh, physical distancing and uh, try to motivate the students just to go for online education. Though already we have started our university examination also. So please uh, go with this particular, uh, the proper instruction to the students of this particular different things. One. Sir, ek, uh, seminar hai, ek call yes, sir. sorry. Huh? Yes. So uh, that uh, COVID-19 and government of India, they had keep the philosophy. On 22nd March, there was a Janta curfew. On 24th March, there was a lockdown, means there was a philosophy of the government, Jan hai to Jahan hai. Then government of India announced the third lockdown, means lockdown second on 11th April. And philosophy of uh, second lockdown was Jan bhi and Jahan bhi. That, uh, Government of India want to keep Jan also and Jahan also. And the third lockdown on 11th May, third lockdown, government of India, they have declared and they have keep the philosophy. Jan se lekar jag tak means individual to the whole humanity. Individual to the whole humanity. And 18th May, last 18th May, there was lockdown four. And what was the philosophy? Local local and global means learn to live along with Corona. And from 31st May, last 31st May, that uh, we were in the lockdown. But in that particular lockdown position also, the, we were working properly. The central government, state government, with the COVID warriors, doctors, and uh, uh, the police officers, they were working properly, particularly IS officer, and particularly our state different types of ministers one. Then how this particular the COVID-19, it is uh, before last one year also until today that uh, it is affected on industry. Industrial scenario in India and Maharashtra, you will find particularly MSME. MSME is one important sector that which is providing total employment of 282.97 crore total employment. And in, at India level, 251.511 crore, the different types of production are uh, produced by the medium, small, and uh, medium industries one, that is MSME one. And total, that uh, 118.59 lakh, means 2,39,627 different types of MSMEs are working at India level one. When you will find the, the present situation at uh, the Maharashtra level, you will find there are about 31 lakh different types of MSMEs are there. And from that particular MSCB, near about 6 lakh total employment for the organizer sector, that unorganized sector, that is figure is different. That uh, near about 6 lakh total employment is provided by the uh, this MSME sector one. And particularly the Maratha region also, we are working properly in Maratha region, there are about 25,000 units that are 
working properly in this Maratha region one. Then uh, when we are talking about micro, small and medium enterprises one. So micro, small and medium enterprises that uh, contribution to the GDP is 30 to 35 percent. And total employment provided by the micro, small and medium enterprises is 114 million one. And number of registered units, 161 million. That government of India, with the help of different types of state government, they are trying to motivate the people, motivate the traders, motivate the small entrepreneurs, particularly micro, small, and medium entrepreneurs. Why? The export position of micro, small, and medium enterprises is 7.9% and import position is 6.1%. One means totally 75 million different types of ancillary industries are totally dependent upon the uh, micro, small, and medium enterprises. One means indirect employment. There are about 50 million indirect employment that this particular micro, small and medium enterprises, they are providing to this particular things one. Then one important aspect that uh, you'll find, impact of lockdown on different sectors. Particularly, the teachers from commerce, management, economics, science, and so other teachers, always were thinking about our students, how the students, they will get the proper opportunity of the placement one. And so, impact of lockdown on different sectors, you'll find Microsoft company, well leading IT company at India and world level, that 46% they have reduced the employment one. And car export declined from that particular period, that 4.5% one means car sale at a glance that you will find it is overall decline. That I will put some company's name, the Hyundai Motors, that already they have increased. 4.78 that uh, this particular export position one. Then Nissan Motor is a world level proper that uh, this particular car company who is producing very good car one and they have increased the car sale, car sale at a glance means plus 37.87% this Nissan Motors they are, they have increased the sale means particularly Hyundai Motors and Nissan Motors, these two companies, though in the lockdown also, they were working properly. But what about some other companies one? That Ford India, Maruti Suzuki, and GM Motors, and uh, the Volkswagen India Limited. These particular four leading companies, four leading companies, they were affected by the help of this particular COVID-19 COVID one. Ford India, Decreased sale of car minus 19.24%. Maruti Suzuki decreased car sale minus 5.83. GM Motors, they decreased car sale minus 9.57. And Volkswagen India minus 10%. They have decreased this particular the car position. And this particular the lockdown, particularly COVID-19, you will find it is affected on this particular the four-wheeler and two-wheeler different types of companies. But overall, Hyundai Motors and Nissan Motors, they had worked properly in that particular period also. Then one important thing that you will find, the four IT company at world level, that is Wipro. January 20 to May 2020, they had 6% profit. But this, they have decreased a 6% profit, they have decreased, but that this four IT leading company Wipro's profit was 2019, that is 2,493.2 crore to 2,345.3 crore rupees one. Means 2019, the profit margin what? 2,493.2 crore. But you will find January 20 to May 2020, the profit margin decreased by 6% one. Vehicle sale you will find 88%, it is also decreased. Car sale, 51% it is decreased, means 2,300 crores every day you will find. And particularly, the two-wheelers, 39.83% the car sale it is decreased. Means FDI decrease, means exceptional, exceptional case, that is a GO one, that you will find GO, the very leading company, that GO, they have increased the market share in this particular pandemic position also one. Then one important aspect that is uh, transport, tourism, 
and hotel industry that these sector india is at third stage in the tourism sector one and most of the particularly unorganized employees that depend upon this particular the transport tourism and hotel industry one these particular industries affected more due to this particular covid 5.5 to near about 6.5 percent crores job opportunities lost by this particular sector one means near about 2.5 crore job lost in that particular period means near estimated 4 crore job lost in that particular period one 2018 to 19 this particular transport tourism and hotel industry 4.2 crore jobs created from this particular sector but total employment from this particular sector is 8.1 crore means you will find in this particular COVID-19 position, due to lockdown, this transport and tourism and hotel industry, these particular industries affected more because in this particular industry, most of the unorganized workers, they are working here. But means till up to 27 to 28 April 20 to till today, 75 to 80 percent companies were closed. Means till up to 12, 13 May 20, 40 percent companies started under all precautions central government with the help of state government state government trying to start this particular industries one but till today also we have not properly started this particular industry one then another sector you will find aviation and tourism sector one that aviation contribution to the gdp is 2.4 percent tourism's contribution to this particular sector is 9.3 percent means in the in that particular period you will find no cash flow means US dollar 22 million, you will find no cash flow in that particular period. One means 42.7 million employees that uh, from this particular aviation and tourism sector, it is affected. Means K states, Delhi, Maharashtra, UP, Gujarat, Rajasthan and Goa. This particular, particularly six states, they affected more due to inbound and outbound traffic Melwar means aviation and tourism sector is affected more due to this particular COVID position. And so that overall, that uh, I'm unable to share my PPT to you. Otherwise, uh, uh, you could have see properly how this particular impact of COVID-19 and uh, how this particular COVID-19 affected down different types of sectors one, particularly auto manufacturing industry, 2.3 million jobs lost by this particular sector. Auto ancillary industries, 2 million jobs are lost. Internet business, 1 lakh jobs are lost. Retail, organizer and organizer sector. In that particular May, June and July 20, you will find 6 million jobs were lost in that particular period. Education, you will find 0 0.7 million jobs were lost by this particular sector. Where in the education field? We are facing the problem. Most of the students, those who are qualified with SET, NET, and PhD, that they are trying to demand to the government, state government, try to recruit the people. But state government, they are unable to recruit the people. Means particularly education field is also affected more due to this particular COVID position one. Just I was talking to you about a restaurant, but tourism sector. In this particular tourism sector, the restaurant is affected more one. Till today also in Aurangabad, in Mumbai, that in Pune, Nashi, Kolhapur, near about 70% of the total hotel industries, they have not started properly one. Means from restaurant sector, you will find most of the unorganized employees they are working. 6.2 million, this particular sector uh, in the employment, you will find. Uh, then media and entertainment, 7 lakh job lost real estate very big estate in this particular real estate most of unorganized employees they are working and under this particular real estate 14 million jobs lost by the this particular sector travel tourism 38 million steel industry 3 to 4 lakh manufacturing industry there are about 70 to 80 thousand that this particular sector they are affected by this particular COVID position one. But some uh, positive impact also you will find by this particular sector one.
that uh, project means 7th June 2020, ADIA, means Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, they had a deal value with Jivo, 5,683.5 crore, means 1.16% share they purchased from uh, the Jivo one. Then second deal, 5th June with Silver Lake, 4,547 crore rupees they had deal with Jivo, means 0.93% they purchased the shares of Jivo. Then again, 5th June, Mubadla, means 9,093 crores they had deal, means 1.85% the stake and shares they have purchased from the Jivo. Then 22 May, KKR, 2.32%. 17 May, General Atlantic, 1.30% of the share they purchased from Jivo. 8 May, Vista, 2.33% shares they purchased. Then again, 3rd May, Silver Lake. The Silver Lake, they purchased 0.93% um, on 5th June. And on 3rd May, Silver Lake, they purchased 1.15% of the shares. But very big deal in this particular COVID position also, you will find on 22nd April, Facebook purchased 9.99% of the shares from the Jiva one. So you will find this particular positive impact in this particular COVID position also on this particular sector one. And then uh, some uh, figure just I want to put before you that uh, in the Aurangabad industrial area, 7,500 crore rupees, the government with the help of some uh, uh, the investors, they have declared they are going to invest in this particular Aurangabad industrial area means that uh, magnetic Maharashtra 2.0 and uh, in Pune 30,000 and Aurangabad 10,000 different types of employment uh, by the help of this particular 7,500 crore rupees investment they declare about uh, uh, the job loss one. And particularly you will find in the lockdown also, the demand of the wine is increased, I mean near about 60%. 60% demand of the wine is, is increased. It is also uh, the positive impact you will find. Then in this particular COVID position also, that uh, pharmaceutical sector, data analytics, digital marketing, that information and uh, that uh, technical field, these particular sectors that they have tried to secure in this particular period also the employment position properly. And so it is very good things one. And uh, uh, Reliance Duo, that uh, they have invested 1.52 lakh crore rupees one. And particularly, the people who are talking about Aurangabad Auric Center means Aurangabad Auric Center is not working properly. It is totally closed one. It will be my bold statement one. But from this particular Aurangabad industrial area, near about 2 lakh different types of unorganized employees, they have lost their jobs one. And near about that uh, different types of the districts, Aurangabad, Bid, Nanded, Latur, from this particular area, 2, law, two lakh people, they have lost their employees one. And uh, that uh, government of Maharashtra, with the help of uh, the central government, they're trying to boost this particular sector one, and they're trying to claim 89% of the, which job lost by the people one, 89% jobs they created in the month of August, last August, August means 24% of the jobs increased that after COVID position also, particularly from IT sector, real estate, that uh, telecommunication, healthcare, pharma, and uh, BFSY, uh, this particular sector also, they were working properly one. And in car sale, that uh, you'd find government is trying to claim with the help of these particular industry people, 10% of the sale of this particular two wheeler, it is increased, and 12 percent of this particular that uh, four wheeler, uh, the car sale, it is decreased due to different types of different sectors. One, but particularly, you will find the positive impact on the different other companies. I Means Hotstar, that uh, Hotstar, 1113 crore investment in this year they made. Means Hotstar. Video demand has increased, means use of video calls has increased. Nintendo, Japanese company, its online gaming increased 39% and 2.2 crore devices, double sale of devices, they increased by this Nintendo one. 
Amazon is also working properly in this COVID position also. Animal Crossing and New Horizon, that 19 lakh copies they sold in that particular period one. Just you will find this particular positive impact. And American Microsoft Xbox gaming platform is leading 18% casual games production increase, particularly you will find Angry Birds, Ludo, Candy Crush, means 50% esports users increase the sale, particularly in this particular IT sector one. And uh, online game sale increase for that particular game, Fortnite, Leagues of Legends, Pubs, Counter Strike, means 50% sale increase in this COVID position also, particularly in online games, Pubs Mobile, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Clash of Cans, Ludo Kings, and Uno. Because you will find uh, some students also, some teachers also. I found uh, they were playing this particular Ludo Kings also and uh, uh, Call of Duty also in this particular COVID position also. And Carom Pool particularly, it was very famous. This, uh, and uh, World with Friends too. This particular, the online games also uh, were very famous in this particular COVID position also. And particularly, that e-commerce Amazon company, that particularly you'll find that e-commerce companies, Amazon, Flipkart, that uh, Snapdeal, and uh, Maitre, and uh, Shop Clause 1. But use of in internet increase in that particular period, means Amazon share 2,283, means US dollar, you find highest sold out in that particular period. One. Means, who is the owner of this company? Jeb Bezos, who is the owner, the Jeb Bezos, Jeb, uh, Jeb Bezos, asset is increased in one day, that is 48,500 crore of this particular e-commerce company. Miss Amazon company shares 5.28% increased by 2,283.32 crore rupees one. So you'll find this particular positive impact of this particular sector one. Just last, uh, five or seven minutes, just I will conclude this particular session one. Then uh, what was the uh, position of the central government? That COVID-19 was their industrial sector, education sector, travel tourism sector, these particular sectors, that uh, they were facing a lot of problems. Then what was central government was doing? What was state government was doing? On 17 April 2020, RBI Governor Mr. Das announced second reserve repo rate by 25 base point. I don't know how many people uh, they benefited by this particular 25 base point one. But uh, government they have declared, but uh, uh, by the help of this particular central government, the state government was trying to motivate to the this uh, entrepreneurs one. But how much this particular 25 base point was benefited to this particular sector one? Then 27 April 2020, 50,000 crore mutual fund liquidity fund announced. And that uh, then, uh, 13 May 2020, Honorable our Finance Minister, Nirmala Sitaramji Madam, announced a full package of 20 lakh crore rupees. And uh, she tried to concentrate on most important five pillars that is, economy, technology, demography, demand, and infrastructure development fund. Means by the help of this 20 lakh crore rupees package, she tried to concentrate on economy. Technology and demography one and demand infrastructure particularly one. And particularly, central government package was uh, uh, covering different types of schemes, particularly Atmanirbar Bharata, local to global product brands, different schemes, Prime Minister Kisan Yojana, Krishi Shinchai Yojana, that uh, Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana. That central government is trying to claim by the help of this particular. Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana, they have cooperated a lot to the people's one, particularly people's from migrated from one place to another place. And in that particular period, central government is trying to claim they helped and cooperated a lot to this particular people's one. Land, labor, and liquidity. The central government they tried to concentrate on this particular things one. And for MSME sector, that 3 lakh crore, crore fund means 100 percent credit guarantee, central government provided to the the people one. But how much people they have benefited by this particular 100% guarantee one? I'm in doubt, though we are putting this particular figure. But we are in di dilemma how much people they have, they are benefited by this particular scheme once. And government also claim 
uh, also making claim 45 lakh small entrepreneurs are benefited by this particular the 100% uh, credit guarantee one and then nbfc means 30000 crore rupees for liquidity fund government has announced means 80 crore people benefited and that under uh, this particular uh, grain distribution the people were trying to distribution of gain just to provide food to this particular people one and uh, with the help of gramin bank that 29500 crore rupees that with the help of gramin bank they, with the help of uh, state government that government tried to cooperate to the peoples particularly migrant worker and government is trying to claim 11000 crore migrant worker they are benefited by this particular scheme one it's okay we'll discuss the offline also this particular things one but i don't think this particular figures though the government they are claiming that 11000 crore people they properly benefited by this particular uh, scheme one but one thing you will find by the help of self help group one means 12000 self help groups they produced 1 lakh 20000 liter sanitizer and 3 crore mask and by the help of this particular positive impact central government they promote additional more 7200 new self help groups and uh, they have given the target to produce more the sanitizer and mask one so the government announced local to global so this particular things was benefited by the help of mandrega 2.33 crore waste seekers that benefited and uh, 6700 crore rupees to the farmers one and uh, particularly you will find nfsc means nfsc means national food security card 3500 crore people they benefited by the help of uh, this particular scheme one then you will find what are the challenges that after covid 19 particularly with the teachers who are from education field we have a lot of challenges just to conduct the classes offline just to conduct the classes online also though we are talking because today i i think uh, i lost 10 to 15 minutes due to this particular uh, the connectivity problem then how students they will connect properly one it is also uh, the big problem one the challenge after covid 19 that is employment is a big challenge then education is second challenge just to which workers they have migrated then to take back all the workers at their own place where they were working it is a big challenge also msme closed how to start again this particular msme is by providing different types of the facilities to the people one then import and exports two wheeler and four wheeler the import it is also decreased and export it is also decreased how it is promoted properly one manufacturing sector service sector hospitality tourism sector and hotel industry particularly and restaurant till today they have not started one then how to start properly this is a big challenge before this particular government one and what india needs to do that uh, india needs to shift towards local local and global one then india and central government with the help of state government has to increase startup then effective monitoring supply chain management artificial intelligence means ict self lines self lines and means atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan by the help of these particular things one then robust the economy with package of rupees 2 lakh crore rupees and dpr detailed project report and with the help of different types of banks central government has to concentrate to how to work how to help to the people's one and when government with the help of state government when they will concentrate concentrate properly then it is possible to start msmes to start and to take the people on organized people particularly at their own place one so these are the challenges before this particular things one and so with the teachers also we have to concentrate how to face this particular problem one and we need to discuss this particular problem after this particular covid position also thank you thank you very much i am very sorry that uh, five to seven eight minutes just i have lost due to this particular connectivity problem and uh, so i am unable to uh, share my screen also thank you thank you very much yes sir hello pakari sir
पगारे सर जस्ट आई फिनिश नाउ admin professor sarvade has finished and you unmute uh, dr bharat pagare please unmute yourself uh, sorry sir thank you uh, oh, all over all situation of uh, covid 19 we have discussed sir, how pandemic period is uh, going on you elaborated all details effect of uh, covid 19 on global entrepreneurship you had done swak analysis which is very difficult to elaborate but you have done it it is a great and informative data for us definitely uh, it will help to spread awareness among the global society thank you very much sir thank you uh, next uh, i will turn to uh, next uh, resource persons uh, dr moin sir sir dr moin sir are you sir are you here sir Yeah, yeah. Good evening. Uh, good afternoon for everybody here. Ah, uh, good afternoon, sir. Very good afternoon. Uh, just a, a brief intro introduction of uh, Dr. Muin, sir. Uh, Dr. Muin G H Elmo Bed, PhD in uh, entrepreneurship. He is working for uh, fundraising. He is a fundraising officer. business development planner and uh, senior lecturer palestine university he is a very uh, well known person i would like to invite uh, dr muin sir to share your thoughts Please. thank you very much dr bharat chari thank you very much Uh, good afternoon uh, every uh, colleague here uh, my warm greetings for my guide and uh, great guide uh, professor azardin sir also my uh, warm greetings for uh, welcome uh, walmik sirwadi and all colleagues here thank you very much uh, today i will talk uh, about uh, <coughs> the black swan how has the corona pandemic affected startups in the world and the arab region uh, brand chiski ceo of airbnb this is well known uh, tourism uh, company says we spent 12 well years building airbnb and we lost everything in 4 to 6 weeks tourism as we know it is over i'm not saying that flights are over but i'm assuring that the usual model we know of tourism is completely dead and will never come back with the start of the corona pandemic in early 2020 the term black swan appeared in the business world as one of the most important terms describing the sudden blow caused by the mysterious virus from china The term "black swan" means a completely unexpected sudden event that completely upsets the majors, which upside down. I mean, which is the term with which the huge U.S. incubator Sequoia Capital described the situation for startups around the world. Before the Corona strike, the global startup economy was generating about three trillion. dollars which is considered one of the largest global economic activities with this huge number the startup world was facing huge challenges regarding the differences between countries and cities the different support that startups get who working spaces funding opportunities and more with the advent of corona matters worsened and things began to take a catastrophic turn in the world of startups until the global startup ecosystem report was issued which said that the uh, repercussions of the corona virus are considered a mass extinct event for startups around the world all uh, 
it means all collapsed. At the time when the COVID-19 virus is moving between the lungs of millions of people, claiming hundreds of thousands of victims around the world, it is also moving between the pockets of millions of companies, taking millions of jobs and financial setbacks, which made analysts consider its negative economic impact no less than that happened in the dot-com bubble that resulted in the bankruptcy and collapse of thousands of companies in the period between the years uh, 2000 and 2001, the global financial crisis that the world witnessed in 2008. According to the global startup economy report, venture capital funds plumbed 20% in one go worldwide in the first three months of 2020, while it blunted 50 percent in China in the last three months uh, uh, at the same period. The report also said that 72 percent of startups around the world have witnessed a decline in profits, with an average of 32 to 40 percent since the beginning of the crisis while only 12% of startups around the world have achieved a noticeably accelerated growth in profits since the beginning of the corona crisis. At the forefront of the sectors most affected by the corona pandemic is the tourism and the travel sector, as uh, Professor Sirwadi uh, Sir mentioned, which blended by 70% while other sectors such as the cosmetics and decoration sector were affected, as well as sectors such as social media platforms, games, and blockchain, which suffered decline in profits in smaller percentages. The report also mentioned that 41% of startups around the world have reached the so-called red zone, which means that they have three months or less to run out of the money. These companies have as operating capital for their operations. This percentage rose from 29% before Corona of companies that suffer from the approach of running out of cash to operate their operations to 41% after the pandemic crisis which is considered the biggest challenge facing companies in the business world at all. The most painful blow ever inflict inflicted by COVID-19, what the world has witnessed by laying off huge numbers of employees around the world, reaching tens of millions. As of the moment of this writing, the number of those who have lost their jobs in the United States alone has reached about 15 million people who applied to the US government for unemployment benefits after losing jobs. At the level of startups, and since the beginning of the crisis, about 74% of startups have terminated the contracts of full-time employees while 39% of startups have had to give up 20% or more of their staff. Also, about 26 of startups around the world reported laying off 60% of their employees or more. In other words, a quarter of startups around the world have abandoned six out of everything employees they were for due to the corona pandemic. Geographically, North American startups have the most layoffs with 84%, followed by startups in Europe with 67% and Asia at 59%. Major and emerging companies around the world was the news of the announcement of LinkedIn network it is well known uh, recruitment agency at uh, social media, which was uh, originally specialized in recruitment, that it had laid off 6% of its staff, which is equivalent to 
960 of its employees around the world. The world which some consider an unconsidered <coughs> sign of the negative effects that the virus had caused in the employment sector and the decline in the supply of jobs around the world to the point where it reached the layoffs of thousands of employees in the largest network responsible for employment in the world. Uh, now we will talk about the levels of uh, affected sectors. Uh, let us uh, take the first function. We say at the management and operational level, the corona pandemic has widely affected the performance startups around the world with more than two thirds of startups cutting their expenses since December uh, 2019 is early at the beginning of coronavirus, emerging coronavirus. Although most of these cut, uh, uh, although most of these cost cuts were limited, some companies did significant amount of their expenses with at least one in 10 companies having to cut more than 60% of their expenses. The bars also indicate that 76% of startups that reduced their expenses began to take this measure starting in March uh, to 2020. The month the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus a global pandemic. Now at the level of policies related to confronting the effects of corona in the world of startups, 46% of, of startups received some kind of government institutional or investment support to face the repercussions of the pandemic. While 38% of companies said that they, they, they didn't receive any assistance and don't expect to receive assistance. During this crisis, 16% of startups expected to be helped soon. The aspects of support sought by founders and executives in emerging companies came at the head of four main means, on top of which is providing financial grants to maintain the company's liquidity, which uh, shapes 29%. Then tools to support investment in the company by 18% then providing support to protect employees and providing grants for distributing salaries in And the last facility in granting quick loans to maintain the company's liquidity by 12%. What about the Oba, what about the Arab region where I live in? Or what is called in the business world, the Middle East and North Africa MENA region? The impact of Corona was also not merciful. According to joint report issued by the WAMDA and ArabNet institutions, at the end of the first half of this year, I mean 2020, the pandemic negatively affected 71% of startups in the region and 50% of startup representatives, meaning half of the sample, said that financial liquidity responsible for operating the companies will run out within six months or less. A study conducted on 247 startup companies in the region concentrated in the UAA, United Arab Emirates, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt said that 54% of e-commerce startups announced that the cash run away would run out within six months. While a third of logistics startups say they have one to two months to run out of money. As for health tech startups, 43.8% of them said they have less than two months to run out of money for operations. While only 12% of startups in the Arab region said that they have enough money to run their operations for more than 12 months. In terms of funding, 
49% of startups participating in the survey said that funding grants that were to be obtained were directly affected by the pandemic, while 29.5% of companies said they were not looking for funding. And 11% said they would continue to receive funding. As planned before the pandemic, only 9.8% of startups said they saw an improvement in their access to investments during a pandemic. As for management and operation methods, two thirds of, I mean, in the Arab region, MENA, Middle East, and the South, uh, North Africa, in the region said they are now working remotely. 8.6% of companies participating in this survey announced that they have reduced wages by 50% or more, while 15.9% of companies said they have reduced the number of employees they have. Uh, at the end, although some startups have benefited greatly from the corona pandemic, the general feature prevailing in the world of startups during this year is the focus on the so-called survival factor. That is, to put aside the usual aspects of performance measurement by focusing on keys such as growth and expansion and to be content with full focus on a product development and business plans that ensure the continuity of the company until the end of the uh, pandemic. Now let us uh, give you uh, uh, an, an image about the uh, corona pandemic in Palestine, Palestine where I live really. The corona pandemic has severely damaged about 73% of the operating establishments in the West Bank and Gaza Strip. By the way, uh, Palestine uh, consists of two isolated areas or regions, West Bank and Gaza Strip, with no uh, uh, road or uh, even uh, uh, flights to, to go between, and Gaza Strip uh, under siege from uh, 2007, uh, 2006, 2006, now it is more than 15 years uh, we live in a big jail. Uh, a study by CARE International, it is well known, American uh, International, in April 2020, showed that 82% of the entrepreneurial projects led by women and youth, around 109 projects, were significantly affected. 28 of the project's owners had to close their facilities. Uh, for now, I can uh, say I'm finished. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, all uh, oh, uh, please, professor. Is, mm -hmm. thanks for my uh, great uh, guide and uh, teacher, uh, Professor Azaruddin, sir, and all of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thanks, Dr. Uh, Muin El Thank you very he much, have, sir. He has given details economic crisis, how is impact of, of COVID-19 on global economy, how they are suffering, and uh, what will be remedies to handle the COVID-19 pandemic. World economy should come out of this pandemic situation. Thank you, sir. You have thank you very much, sir. Yeah. All details. It's my thank pleasure. You. Thank you very, uh, very much. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, then uh, I would like to request uh, to Assistant Professor V. S. Kumbari, sir, to read the biodata of resource person, Dr. Uh, Sayed Hazruddin, sir, Dr. Baba Sambetra Marawad University, and invite them to share their valuable thoughts, Dr. Uh, Kumbari, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, good afternoon to all. Uh, it is great honor to me uh, to introduce a uh, great and dynamic personality, 
Dr. Syed Azruddin sir is a professor, Faculty of Commerce, Dr. Baba Sir Rambaikar, Marathwadi University. Sir has more than 80 years teaching experience. Sir has written two books. He has edited, edited journals, Deccan Business Review. Sir has selected as a edited to board of journals. Sir has under sir's guidance, 16 students were awarded. PhD, 18 students were awarded MPhil and 11 students pursuing their PhD under sir's guidance. Sir has organized 12 conferences on research methodology. He has attended 79 seminars and conferences. Sir has published 34 national international journal level publications. Azurudin sir has delivered in all 144 lectures on research as a research person in various conferences, seminars, workshop orientation programs, and refresher courses. Sir has member of academic bodies all over India and several universities. Thank you to all to join us and I have request to Azruddin sir to share, uh, to share your views about the this topic. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, sir. Uh, I request everybody to mute their uh, handsets, uh, laptops, and uh, PCs so that you can hear clearly what I'm saying. Uh, <clears throat> this is the disadvantage of uh, online teaching or online webinars, seminars, and international conferences, uh, where you have a connectivity problem and non-professional approach where uh, everything goes hodgepodge. And this is the biggest drawback of uh, any seminar and conference which we are facing in the recent times. At the outset, I would like to congratulate Arts, Commerce and Science College, Kille Dharur, District Bid, Maharashtra, India, for uh, organizing one day international webinar on impact of COVID-19 on global entrepreneurship. Friends, today I would uh, like to speak on the topic changing trends in global entrepreneurship in post-COVID era. And we have seen that in the past, after the First World War, Second World War, nations were completely destroyed and they were rebuilt only the entrepreneurs, when they stepped in and took the matters in their hand and started entrepreneurial activity, these nations again stood up. Japan, Germany, and many other nations of the world are a classic example of the entrepreneurs building their country through entrepreneurial activity. Traditional entrepreneurs are facing problems today in the COVID era and will also be facing problems in the post-COVID era. Unless they have a totally new approach because entrepreneurs, they are having a new challenge where the pursuit of opportunity which they follow beyond the resources which are controlled. Here, the opportunity which they are going to get should be novel only, should be extraordinary only, should be exceptional only, should be out of the box should be acceptable according to the times. 
then only they will be able to survive. And with the constrained resources, constrained means less resources, where there is a limitation of finance, they have to alter their module of entrepreneurship for the very existence or survival of their businesses and organizations. And if they do, then only there will be a higher survival rate for the entrepreneurs, not only in Asia, but throughout the world. I'll come back after 10 minutes to the chronology of the events which are happening in the world where entrepreneurs, they have a new challenge, a new trend. Because of the changing global economic scenario throughout the world. In this pandemic, it has shown that there is a considerable risk for the entrepreneurs. And these risks are differently able. You'll find they are facing different types of risks. Some are facing demand risk. Some are facing technology risk. They have everything, but the demand is not there. Creation of demand is becoming uh, difficult because there is a element of lockdown, bog down, element of slowdown. So these are the things which are impacting the demand risk for an entrepreneur. How will they come up? How will they tackle the demand risk? They have to innovate. Another area where there is a risk is technology risk. We know that entrepreneurs usually come with intermediate technology because they are having less resources. Bootstrapping is common. And in this bootstrapping and limited finance, limited human resource, limited men, money, material, and intermediate technology, there is a considerable risk that their competitors may move forward. So demand if they are able to fulfill, they may, some of them, they may face a considerable risk in the technology area. Some of them, they may face, they are facing execution risk because they are unable to attract employees. We have seen throughout the world Tourism is affected, manufacturing is affected, import is affected, export is affected. And this trend throughout the world has restricted the trade, limited the trade. Of course, the mission begin again has started in many countries, but it has not started the way it is expected the economy to become vibrant. Of course, these strong economies like US, European countries, and some of the South American countries, Gulf countries, where the resources are there, they have a certain level of foreign exchange available with them, they are able to survive with their own funds. Of course, they are going down. They are not able to match their previous record of import and export. And who is the center, at the center stage? Entrepreneur is at the center stage. An execution risk 
because they are not able to attract the employees who were once the part of their organization one more character we have seen throughout the world and on a large scale in india labor migration from one place to another of course it is a international phenomena the labor is perfectly mobile inside the country but is imperfectly mobile outside the country internationally and still the international labor is also employees also skilled labor and skilled labor and the professionals they are returning to their countries because they are facing the risk of execution they are not being employed and how much resources they have at their disposal they are not able to cope up with it so they are coming back i just gave you an example of the internal mobility of labor in india mass exodus so many thousand people they were they started migration from one place to the another place it is the migration is bigger than some of the population of many countries of the world and what is affected the entrepreneurial activity is affected because of this you must have seen in this scenario the financing risk is also there because the external capital is unavailable and although that external capital which is available on reasonable days terms and conditions otherwise today is not available and that is why entrepreneurs are in a tight position how to move forward bailout packages are there declared by several countries of the world if you look at india you will find the government has taken special measures to see that the manufacturing activity entrepreneurial activity goes on with some limitation but it should not stop it should go on with limited labor men money material but then some of the areas of economy are totally stalled stopped stalled means stopped because they are unable to get the continuous supply of raw material from outside and this is not a phenomena in asia india but it is a phenomena in us and even european countries i am not mentioning china because in most of the area china is self sufficient and the impact is minimum on them because they have already kick started and they have undertaken manufacturing i'll come back to that again after some time but then what we have to do in this covid era which is prolonging since early 2020 march 2020 it is already one and a half year and it doesn't doesn't seem to get over in the next 6 months also like fully functional for the next 6 months also it's very difficult to foresee that it will be difficult then what is the thing which we have to do what is the solution the only change we have to do at present is innovate it is possible a small innovation can make you survive and that innovation is necessary for survival i am not talking about fully functional but you can just innovate and survive and in the economic theory or commercial terms we say that we need to achieve economies of scale as soon as possible 
and if we are able to achieve economies of scale as soon as possible we will be able to survive with the entrepreneurial present entrepreneurial traits or the trend then what can be innovated if not this activity is a continuous activity it cannot uh, stop some of the stronger ones can acquire they can take leverage of other people other entrepreneurs they can combine they can acquire also they can combine also so acquiring and combining can move make them move forward because going alone may be little bit risky but going together may be fruitful it may pay dividends and that is why acquiring and moving forward can again be the future trend repurposing you need to adopt and you need to repurpose how can you do how can you readopt and repurpose yourself you can readopt and repurpose yourself only when you are seeing an opportunity and then leveraging wherever it is required it can be finance it can be human resources it can be for raw material it can be for supply chain also leveraging can be done and you can see that e commerce platforms they are surviving not only surviving but they are expanding their businesses earlier speakers i think uh, professor sarvades mentioned that the income of jeff bezos he mentioned in pandemic in income of one of the communication companies in india which has a global connection jio it has improved while others are going down some of them they are increased sectoral growth is there sectorial growth not all only selected sectors they have a growth but then that is necessary thank god with the imports on the lower side we don't need to suffer for foreign exchange foreign exchange reserves are not much affected because imports are not there when imports are not there money will not go out at least what is there will be saved and there is a sense of balance which can be created by different ministries of the world the different governments of the world industrial ministries or economic uh, ministries of the world they can uh, countries they can balance their import and export and also the balance of payment we can say the balance of payment position of their country that is the foreign exchange reserves in their country you can also go for a spin off what is spinning off create a new company create a new business create a innovative idea that is separate from the original one that is separate from the original business that is separate from the original module create a smaller version and that smaller version which can be marketable which can have a inroad into the deep into the market we can do that that innovation can be possible in this covid 19 pandemic era even to some extent in the post pandemic era and when the economy of the world is fully functional then you can come back to your original module but for today you can go for a innovative module where a small sectorial innovation can be very fruitful to you some of the companies they are coming out with the innovative products and one such area i could see 
is automobile electronics food sector manufacturing where there is a demand certain demand is there they are coming out with innovative products not very sophisticated innovation but a small innovation which could help them to penetrate the market and keep the entrepreneurial activity going on so creating a new company creating a new business creating a innovating idea innovative idea which is a different one from the original business you can also go for a recombining the undervalued or under utilized assets and it is happening in the world internally in the country it is happening some of the combinations internationally have agreements have taken place some of the undervalued assets from one country are being acquired it is a natural phenomena it is a continuous activity but in the covid era where one company in one particular country is affected the other company from other country they are that is the international company they are acquiring it because the family businesses are affected the undervalued assets are lying idle so instead they can take a leverage and they can go for uh, alignment with some international company so they are doing that and they can also join a syndicate this is also happening so entrepreneurial module which is an international one can be applied at the national level can also be applied at the regional level and can also be applied at the local level also the penetration should be there and this is a very important trend in the global entrepreneurship even the search funds are available where if you utilize those search funds the developing economies they can catch on those search funds many european country they are having a list of undervalued and under utilized assets which are open for aligning realigning and take over or joining a syndicate so that they can survive friends i would like to give you a international phenomena how this entrepreneurial change has come i will take you back before the pandemic towards the end of 2019 i think uh, dr moin has mentioned about the arab world and some of the uh, examples in the arab world of how the 2019 end slowdown has affected that area and how they have been able to tackle it this phenomena you i will take you back to the uh, pre pandemic area where uh, uh, pre pandemic era towards the end of 2019 there was a global slowdown global recession signs of global recessions were seen all over the world september october it was very much evident in november and december 2019 and early 2020 world could say that these are the countries which are affected with the global slowdown now in this backdrop of slowdown one more event happened in the world us and china cold war it was the same period in 2019 and 2019 end 
यूएस चाइना कोल्ड वॉर वर्ल्ड कुड विटनेस ना वॉट वॉज द रीजन I always say you should know the reason why this pandemic, uh, this uh, cold war happened. The 2019 statistics they show. What they show that U.S. China cold war started because U.S. export to China was 110 billion dollars. U.S. exporting to China, 110 billion dollars. and again the 2019 statistics say that the us import from china was 660 billion dollars so us exporting to china 110 us importing from china 660 billion dollars worth goods are coming to america from china and what is the trade deficit if you look at the trade trade deficit you will find 550 billion dollars deficit was there and this 550 billion dollars deficit raised the eyebrows for us economy that they are owing so much amount to china unknowingly and they are concentrating more on other areas but when they looked at this deficit they found that there should be some balance and that is why us started playing tricks with china and it said oh there will be some uh, blockages and this and that we have to rethink we have to repurpose we have to uh, make new agreements and this and that blah 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 so many things us has said about china of course you should be concerned because there is a trade deficit of 550 billion dollars here you will find the asian countries they had a chance because what was done by china other countries like india indonesia malaysia taiwan bangladesh and some of the gulf countries they can step in and become a substitute to many european and american uh, the united states it can become a substitute and here as far as india is concerned it had a chance and we also saw the european countries and uh, the us uk they were looking for the option apart from china and they saw that india is a destination where not only huge market is there easy terms and conditions of wto will take them to india and we can have a healthy business relations with india this was very much on cards and we have seen that there was some change not on a very large scale but it happened so slow down of 2019 and early 2020 us china cold war 550 billion deficit because import from china 110 billion export to china uh, uh, import from china 660 billion export to china 110 billion this was the big impact on united states then came the slow down in march 2020 where the world started closing down world started lockdown due to the pandemic because they don't want the virus to spread to their country in that backdrop because of the pre slow down and us china trade deficit european countries thought why not to explore china instead of us in a very important agreement between europe and chinese took place in december 2020 it was a landmark agreement between the two european group of countries and china china got a entry into the european market on a large scale 
it has started investment also and we have seen as the time moved forward slow startup was going on throughout the world starting of the economy some political changes in afghanistan have also impacted the geopolitical and economic scenario of asia and other countries of the world where you will find us was directly involved russia and china were the stakeholders and the chinese stakeholding in afghanistan increased with india taking a back seat now they have started the negotiations and accepting the afghanistan new government so that whatever stake is there for indian entrepreneurs that should be taken to the next level so india is also exploring that so political changes with russia and china supporting afghanistan india taking a back seat and us exit from afghanistan the latest thing which happened few days back aukus australia uk us coming together on one platform and forming a syndicate named aukus a u k u s that is australia uk us combining and recombining redefining the objectives of their business and entrepreneurship of course those countries which are attached to australia us uk will also have some stakeholding experts are already saying that some of the asian countries including india will benefit from aukus let us hope but the indications are in the manufacturing of arms which i think is a superficial development which will not help the country as a whole but few people a handful people will benefit so it may be a dangerous trend also and we know that the strongest navy in the world is today's chinese navy and this aukus declaration seems to be a competition to that chinese navy let us hope that it expand to other areas also and more more of the more countries they come into the ambit gambit and they benefit from that entrepreneurial activity should go on 5 trillion dollar a trillion dollar economy is not very difficult to achieve but it is very difficult if we want to develop with entrepreneurship only ha huh, if you want to develop with arms manufacturing it can be it can be achieved very soon but it is not possible with other entrepreneurial areas sectors of the economy where it is expected to grow it will take a long time the target is 2025 by the indian government but it doesn't seem to achieve unless we go for a war economy and manufacture arms the latest report september 2021 report of government of india says that a very optimistic positive one 120000 new firms have been registered 120000 120000 in the indian count 120000 a big task for the other countries if you see if you evaluate because india is also very big country big and small 1 120000 120000 more than 120000 new firms have been registered in india but the other side of the thing we have to see is that how many have closed how many have uh, uh, closed partially if we see that then we will be able to gauge how much entrepreneurial activity we have been able to consistently undertake 
a country like Italy is showing a sign that its automobile manufacturing has only done gone to the 50% capacity. Already a meeting between US and France, France have disassociated and said, we don't want to talk to you. We don't want to negotiate. When you have take, undertaken AUKUS, Australia, US and UK coming together and France is not there, they are unhappy. A new recombination of entrepreneurial activity can occur. There may be a chance for the new players, new countries of the world, especially Asian countries. Already China agreement with Europe is there. These countries can also undertake global entrepreneurial activity. And since the pandemic is prolonging, we have to see that the entrepreneurial activity which takes place, the transition which takes place in entrepreneurial activity, we have to avoid three C's. What are the three C's? Closed spaces. We have to avoid crowded places. We have to avoid and we have to avoid close contacts. This will make them survive. There is a paradigm shift in the everyday life, including our lifestyle, including our work style, including our business style. So lifestyle, work style, business style has impacted entrepreneurial activity. Everything cannot be done for work from home. Because entrepreneurial activity involves so many things. Hence, a new normal for management and a new normal for the uh, a new, new paradigm shift has brought a new change. Business continuity with safety and security. Continuity with safety and security. Business recovery and acceleration in the new environment. Another challenge. Business expansion. Utilizing new areas. Application of artificial intelligence. Use of new data. And the change in all areas of public contact where you have to leverage ICT with attaining the business goals, providing value to the society where you have to keep on the entrepreneurial activity going and I have seen that some innovative business models have come. The traditional one from company to the wholesaler to the distributor, retailer and customer. This is the traditional model. But some small medium enterprises, they are understanding the pulse of the market. And you will find that typical retailer distributor relationship where you get a 30 to 45 days credit also. A new model has come up where you will find the distributor to consumer directly. Directly contacting the consumer. Through customized platforms they are approaching the customer. They are utilizing the leverage of supply chain management. E-commerce platform. And you can find so many big malls. They have changed their business module. Where they are situated, a medium mall or a small departmental store, 
they have changed their module how the benefit passing directly to the customer they are reaching out to the customer directly from their known sources and by giving heavy discounts to them so that in pandemic also the entrepreneurial activity should go on and their income should be generated continuously consistently another model where we find that the distributor instead of retailer tie up they are tying up with the financial institutions so that they want to take the product directly to the customer through that media it may be a bank it may be a financial institution or it may be a financing agency who is taking responsibility of taking the goods to the customer without paying anything or only for a small amount so double benefit is going the reason is the show must go on so if there is a selling then only the operating module or operating uh, uh, cycle can keep on going and if the operating cycle is going on then only we are able to undertake manufacturing i will give you a very good example you find these days in the city everywhere many cities of the world they are witnessing that there are heavy discount on textile goods dresses shirts t-shirts men and women dresses children dresses heavy discounts are there they cannot keep those things in their godowns in their warehouses in their shops in their distributors go down they cannot keep it there they have to take it out there may be a change in the fashion there may be a change in the taste before that happens the goods should go at the discounted rate to the customer another model here the change of mindset from transactional approach to brand building approach is the new normal in the pandemic era and will be there in the post pandemic era for a long time another model which is focusing or focused by smes small medium and uh, tiny industries also kyc the power of artificial intelligence is utilized the no the kyc approach know your customer a small shop in a colony approaches the customer individually contacts them and fulfill their needs beyond their supply they are fulfilling something else you want we will make it available to you now this module is the powerful tool of ict know your customer reach to them and see that you are successful because the ultimate aim is to keep the operating cycle going on if the operating cycle keeps on going you will be able to generate employment you will be able to generate bring back the cash which you have employed in manufacturing with customized social media campaigns use of the social media platform different social media platforms business to business business to customer all these modules are being redefined and entrepreneurial activity is taking a new trend in the covid era and in the near future in the post covid era also when fully functional economy will again give rise to entrepreneurial activity on the large scale throughout the world india asia is not an exception throughout the world all economies are eagerly waiting how to kick start 
and how to survive in the uh, changing scenario or the covid pandemic era and the post pandemic era i hope the changing trends in global entrepreneurship in post covid era uh, i have been able to put forward uh, some of the views because there is a limitation of time also so i could not go for some selected sectorial economic models where we can innovate and when we can uh, generate employment and keep the operating cycle go on move on continuously consistently the types of kick start modules they can also be a viable uh, entrepreneurial models which can help the entrepreneurs to survive in this uh, covid era and the post covid era near future post covid era i hope i have been able to deliberate on this issue thank you very much uh, uh, art science uh, and commerce college kilidharu district bed maharashtra india for giving me a chance to interact with uh, uh, the academicia the researchers teachers students and some of the guests from uh, different countries of the world which the organizers have mentioned uh, if you have uh, time uh, dr pagare we can take uh, some of the questions from the participants who are there uh, that that will be a very good uh, uh, thing to sum up the conference if we are able to take uh, some of the questions if you have time uh, we will be able to uh, go for some questions uh thank you very much for inviting me and giving me a chance to speak thank you one and all uh we cannot hear you dr pagare you are you are muted ha sir yes sir yes. why not uh, question answering uh, should be there uh, i appeal to participants if you have uh, some questions regarding this uh, international webinar uh, they will uh, discuss they should uh, put in front of this uh, person anybody it is appeal to participants if you have any queries any questions regarding all talks of dr uh, azuddin sir or any resource persons i think uh, they 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 got satisfied huh? they are getting yeah, yeah. A, a good satisfaction from you so okay. no queries no questions uh, then uh, i would like to uh, thank dr uh, said azuddin sir is a very knowledgeable person and he have stated effect of covid 19 and you elaborated different impact of corona in different countries like european countries and uh, asian countries and stated changing scenario of global entrepreneurship very thank you uh, last uh, but not least i will take opportunity of vote of thanks sir we are going to vote of thanks i will take opportunity of vote of thanks uh, the guest and resource persons thank you dr valmik sardu sir who accepted as a keynote speaker you made event grateful thank you milin gurde sir